G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to discuss what is Entity SEO and I'm going to show you how to match entities in SEO. Let's jump into it. All right, so if you have no idea what an entity is, think about it along the lines of something that's easily, uh, easily identified. So as an example, in the eyes of Google, because that's what we're trying to rank for, it's the main search engine in the world, 97% of global traffic. Guys, think about a boat. That can be considered as an entity. It's unique. It's easily identified. Anything along those lines, that, that a word specifically identifies an object, a thing, a place, person. That's what Google's really looking at, okay? So when it comes to entities and understanding what an entity is, just think about it like, something that's unique, something that's easily able to be identified. That's what an entity is. Now, why is entity SEO super important? Well, as of 2019, the, the BERT update, that was the, uh, oh, for the life of me, guys, I can't remember what it is, the uh, bi-directional re reframing entity transformer or what I've like, <laughs> I'm going to have to check this actually, uh, Bert Google, uh, do a, like it's a bi-directional, what is it? Um, bid, bid directional encoder represent representations from transformers. That's it guys. I was 50%. We, I'll claim that. <laughs> so essentially this update just helped Google understand text and, and, and puts more content and context around the content that it's actually analyzing. So it relies on entities. So if you're talking about this, this should really, this word should proceed or follow that word. That's basically what Google's looking at. You've always got to remember that Google is just one big algorithm. It's not a person that's sitting in a room being like, wow, this is amazing content. I love reading this. Mm -mm. It, it's an algorithm. That's how it works. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm actually going to show you a couple of tools or so mainly one tool, but I'll discuss a couple of ways that you can match entities when you're doing entity SEO, because nowadays it's, it's vitally important. You need to have entities with, embedded in your content. If you don't have the entities embedded in your content, what's going to happen is Google won't reward you. We've started to find that. And with this helpful content update, it's vitally important that you have entities in your content and you're matching your competitors. So how do you match your competitors' entities? Well, you utilize this awesome little tool that Chris Palmer, great dude, lovely dude, he made, okay? So this is his tool. <laughs> uh, as you can see over here, welcome, Chris Palmer. G'day, guys. Yeah, I grew the hair out uh, <laughs> and I lost the glasses. So what you can do is you can basically input any keyword that you're going after. So let's just say SEO for argument's sake. Now, what this tool does is it analyzes the top 10 results like the SERP and scrapes all of this, and it's looking for those entities. Now, what I like to do, it, it pulls it down. You then need to, uh, it's running right now. You then need to put it into a CSV and I upload it into the sheets. Now, I'm going to show you how to clean it all up because there's a lot of data there, guys. Like it, it has a lot of data for you. So I wanna clean all of that, that up. Uh, let me just get rid of a couple of these tabs because this is probably slowing everything down. Uh, normally it's quite, quite quick, but it will go through, pull everything off, then we'll just have it uh, laid out like it's going to be right now. So as you can see right now, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can actually see. So as you can see, it's been scraping all of this okay and here's all of the words now the reason we need to export this via csv and then i like to input it in a uh, sheet it, it's up to you however you want put it in a pivot table if you're more comfortable I, i'm more comfortable with excel but i've got to learn uh, google docs because that's what my agency utilizes we've got people all around the world and we operate all around the world so as you can see, it's got all of these things here. These are all what they believe as entities, okay? In the columns over, you have the relevant score. So how closely related it is to this keyword that the tool believes, that the tool believes. Well, a one is the maximum. 
confidence score. How confident is it? I believe higher the score, the, the more confident that it actually is. Repeat count. This is what we're looking at. This is what we really need to focus on. It's like, okay, so if I was going after, if I'm trying to create a bit of content around SEO, right, and I'm trying to match the entities uh, on that SEO content, what do I do? First, I utilize this. I put this in here. I export this via a CSV. I come over to Google. Now, let's, let's get jiggy with it. So import, upload. Let's drag this in. Nope. That's it, Google. Second time's a charm, Google. Awesome. So import the data. Now I like just setting up a, a basic pivot table, guys, just because it's it's just easier to analyze. It's a lot easier to analyze. So let's get rid of this so you can actually see more of the screen. I like this. Now you go insert pivot table uh yeah that's right create so we hit create now you'll see behind my big head you're going to see rows columns values now over in rows uh entity so in rows we want entity okay in values in values we want to have the repeat count that's the main thing that i look at like the confidence scores and all of this i sort of just base it off my gut to be completely like if it's a something I know nothing about, then yeah, the other, the other like relevant scores and all that do come into play. But I, I'm also rely on the, um, the count, like to be completely honest, guys, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, eh, change anything, but above my head, what I'm doing right now, see this, I'm changing this to sum of repeat count. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is hit the sending order. Bang. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So, as you can see, search engine optimize, uh, uh, search engine optimization, right? Across those articles, and in those articles, it's mentioned six hundred times, six hundred times. So, how do we work out how many times we should be putting that in? Simple. All we need to do, guys, come across to the next one. Equals. Hit equals. So we want to click on this number here, divide that by 10, enter. And then it will give you the suggest autofill. That's where Google's coming through for us. Now you can see how many times so I've gone away. Let's say I'm trying to match the entities in SEO. I'm creating a piece of content. I want to match it. I want to make sure that the entities that I have in my content are better than my competitors. Okay. So I've gone away, I've analyzed the top 10 results for the search page. Then it's given me this, I've put it into a pivot table and now I have on average the results, how many times I need to insert search engine optimization, okay? 60 times. So if I write a piece of content, I know on average that I should be mentioning search engine optimization 60 times in my content. Search engine. 34 times google 32 times as you can start to see like as we come further down you now anchor which will be anchor text news expert it starts to wane away it's, it's getting less and less it's not repeating as much but you should be folk wherever it's double digits guys and even higher single digits so you know like yeah seven eight nine ten that sort of stuff anything where there's like basically two all this stuff here, guys, this needs to be talked about. This needs to be talked about and sprinkled into your content, okay? Because, look, going forward with this helpful content update, who knows? Any Anyone that says that they can handle a content update, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what Google had planned when they did this. Have they improved Bert? Have they improved anything else? What else has, have they updated? I don't know. I'll find out with testing. That's how I'll find out. But right now, this is what's working. Sprinkling in entities in your content. So when you are doing entity SEO, this is how to match entity SEO. This is how you match your entities with your competitors. Okay, you can utilize uh, Google NLP API tools like POP as an example. So Page Optimizer Pro, great, brilliant tool. That has its 
own thing you can utilize their uh, nlp api in there and that pulls it straight from google great tool i literally have a video that will be linked on page optimizer pro so if you do need to improve your on-page content actual content overall go use that guys because what we're seeing right now is entity is the real it's a real important factor that's where keywords are still important but the days of just the keyword everywhere and low difficulty traffic they're gone they're they're still around but chances are it's it's a lot harder to do that guys you used to be able to do it in every category you can't nowadays this is what's really powerful this is how you match entities i hope that i've answered that question of what is entity seo and how to match entities in seo if you have any questions pertaining to entity seo let me know the link to chrissy's tool will be down in, down below like i said guys it's 10 bucks go across get it i, I think it's a brilliant tool uh, I, I believe it's called entity tool uh, access in chris's a la carte services that's where you'll find it great guy great tool hope you have a lovely day make sure you smash that like button guys subscribe and i'll see you around cheers